Yes guys, how are you doing? My name is Morsi and welcome back to what is going to be another silver prediction video. This time around, as you can tell by Mr. Jamie Shackleton to the left of me, we're going to be predicting the best silver Premier League players coming out in FIFA 22. The last silver prediction video I did on my channel went really, really well. We got about 20 likes in the first day, which is fantastic. So if you do enjoy these, please make sure to go down there, drop me a like and also leave me a comment with your predictions and let me know a player that you think is going to have a sick silver card this year. But as I start off with Shackleton himself, as he's on the screen already, this is Jamie Shackleton, the youngster from Leeds. He had a 65 overall silver card last season and currently sat on so FIFA, he sat at a 69 overall card. However, he has been playing a fair bit under Bielsa this season so far and I reckon he's going to get that juicy little upgrade up to about a 72, a 73. I have given him the benefit of the doubt, but if this man does get the card that I predicted, he already has a lot of pace. He has the stamina, he could be the ideal starter silver squad box to box centre mid. Up next we are heading over to Spurs and we have got the Welshman himself, Mr Joe Roden. I've given him a 73 overall silver card this season, a nice little increase from his 71 last year round and I reckon he's going to get a little bit of a pace boost. Last season about 50 pace. I've seen this man play a fair bit for Spurs last season and in a few preseason games and he looks damn solid. As you guys will see as we crack on with this video, I have got a fair few centre backs to pick from. So I reckon we're going to be stacked in that position this year around, which is fantastic. And I reckon this geezer, if they give him stats similar to this, he could definitely hang. Up next, we are going over to Crystal Palace to Patrick Vieira's army. And we have got Mikel Elise. Formerly at Reading last season, he had a 67 overall base card. So I reckon he's played a bit of football. He's got the transfer to the Premier League. They're going to hook him up with about a 72 this season. Potential four-star, four-star baller also. He has a lot going forward in regards to pace and dribbling. However, the finishing aspect and the end product may let this card down a little bit. But if we do get a nice 72 overall, especially French link in the Premier League, we get the hybrid possibilities. And you know I'm a fan of that. Continuing with the French theme in the Premier League, we've got Ryan Aitnori. At Wolves, he played for Angers at the start of last season in the French League. And I believe they loaned him in with an obligation to buy. Either way, they've signed him now and he is a Wolverhampton Wanderers player. This man is a career mode hidden gem. He has potential through the roof. You can get him to like an 85 up to 90 if you progress him throughout the seasons. And on so FIFA, he's currently sat at a 73 overall. So it's pretty much a carbon copy of his in-game stats. He's not played too much in pre-season or towards the latter stages of the season for Wolves. I think he picked up an injury at some point. We didn't clock too many minutes. And Wolves have brought in a new left back, Marcel, who is smashing it for them albeit they've not won yet this season, but he's doing a decent job, guys. He's in my FPL team, so he better step up. But if this man gets a card sim to this, he's going to be one of the best budget silver left backs in the Premier League this season. We're going to keep that left back train rolling, and we have got Tyreek Mitchell, the Palace wonder kid. This man has so much potential last year round, very similar to this season also. It's probably the first card that I reckon may potentially be a gold. He sat at a 70 overall and so FIFA currently. However, he's played a lot of football for Crystal Palace last season. He was pretty much a staple in their back four. He was one of the four million in our FPL assets that I had in my team getting clean sheet after clean sheet so I have a, like a funny feeling that he's going to be a gold card next year around but you never know a 74 overall with stats like this I will definitely take it just look at him isn't it glorious? The Arsenal bias is finally here and we have got Albert Sambi Conga. This man probably will have a goal card going into next season. He's currently a 73 on Sofifa, but he's playing for Arsenal in the Premier League. He's also repping the Belgian first team, so he realistically will be a low-rated goal card. Similar to Galson Fernandez, the Spurs player, that's 75 overall. That is what I reckon he might be, but he may just sneak under the radar. Cheeky 74 overall, I'll be a dream lad. Up next, we have got a new rising star on the scene. We have got Livramento. The man played for Chelsea. That's the only render I could find of this boy. He is now a Southampton player. And he's starting week in, week out for the Saints so far. He is beating Carl Walker-Peters to that starting position, which is a, a bit of a shock, especially for Saints fans. I'm pretty certain Carl Walker-Peters is one of your best players last season. It may be an injury keeping him out, but this man is stepping up big time. This man is only 17 years of age and trying to find his rating on FIFA was difficult. I believe he had a 60 over overall bronze card at some stage throughout last season however a lot has happened since then he has progressed he is starting in the Premier League I definitely reckon we're looking at a silver card but not the highest rating I reckon a 72 is a solid shell up next we've got a chap who was recommended in the comment section of my previous video and I'm confident in saying that this man is going to have a sick silver card this season he did end up getting himself that team of the season moment silver star card which is 74 in FIFA 21 and a lot of people loved him he was an absolute baller and he had top tier finishing and I reckon he's going to get a silver card very similar to this he sat at a 70 as it stands in so FIFA. Did get a decent bit of playtime in the championship for Watford last season and he is still a young lad. He's 18 years of age and here's the hoping that he gets a card something like this 
If he does though, he's going to be very, very expensive, especially Premier League and Brazilian. A lot of these chaps are career mode prospects and I'm not messing about with this chap either. We've got Adam Eder, the Norwich youngster, representing the Republic of Ireland. His card doesn't look incredible, but I'm confident this man could be a cheap budget option for your starter Premier League team. Another potentially incredible centre-back in the Premier League this year around. We've got Mark Gahey, recently transferred from Chelsea to Palace for a decent amount of money as well. He was on loan at Swansea last season and he was performing very, very solid. Also a youngster 19 years of age with decent potential in career mode for you and career mode freaks out there. He is currently sat at 72 on SoFIFA. So if we get a nice 73, this card is going to be sick because he offers the African links. We can link out to the Ivory Coast fullbacks. It offers some sick hybrid opportunities. Now this one you may be thinking, Morsi mate, there is no way Billy Gilmore is getting a silver card. He's getting a gold, there's no doubt about it. He played the Champions League for Chelsea, he played some big fixtures in the Euros but you never know. He's only sat at a 71 on SoFIFA, but he is that kind of prodigy that they could boost up into the gold bracket, but I would take a 74 Billy Gilmore any day. The first downgrade of the video, Ryan Frederick. This man was in start squads everywhere last year. That 76 overall gold rare right back that was just absolutely rapid. And he's not played too much at West Ham last season, mainly with Soufal coming in and doing a quality job for the Hammers. So I reckon the downgrade has potential Hopefully they go all the way down to a 74 from a 76, that'd be great. But realistically, if a card does drop like this, Premier League, English, is going to be expensive. So this is one of the cards that I'm going to be looking for at the start of FIFA 22 on the web app. I'm going to have my senses tingling and I'm going to be sniping him left, right and centre. Another brand new player onto Ultimate Team, we have got Dewsbury Hall from Leicester City. This man has kind of come out of nowhere. He stepped into that Leicester team and he has been very impressive so far. I remember him playing in the Community Shield against Liverpool and he put in a very, very good stint. This man has potential to be a super well-rounded midfielder in the silver bracket. I don't think they'll give him a goal. He sat at 71 as it stands on SoFIFA. So Dewsbury Hall, 74 overall, pretty consistent card. Probably won't be too expensive. Probably very similar to Hamza Chowdhury, the year just gone. Hopefully we get a nice little silver. And if we do get this man, him and Shackleton with the strong links. Yes, lovely stuff. Another chap that more likely will be getting a gold card. We've got Josh De Silva, a 73 on Sophie for as it stands. So he is in that silver bracket, but he is bossing it for Brentford. I believe he's injured at the moment or something like that, or something's keeping him out from getting minutes for Brentford as it stands. But this man, hopefully a little one overall, and we get a 74. And then we've got the option for Shackleton, Dewsbury Hall and De Silva in that midfield three. All strong green links. It's going to be incredible. Checking out the goalkeeper, we have got Backman, the Watford geezer. Sat at 69 on SoFIFA, however, in the Euros, he stepped up for Austria and he is quality. He is starting in the Premier League for Watford ahead of Foster as well. So I reckon this man could be the out and out go to silver goalkeeper in the Premier League this season. Maybe not a 74, maybe a 73, a 72 overall. Him, alongside the likes of Butland and Darlow, are probably going to be the staples for many Premier League sides. Heading over to Brighton, we've got a saucy South American, the Colombian boy Alzate. This man's going to have skill moves coming out as he is. He's a bit of a baller in the real world and he has a lot of potential. Four star, three star, I'm predicting for this chap and I reckon a 72 overall is probably what we're looking at. But I just can't see EA giving him any higher rating than 72 in all honesty. And three more players to round off this video. These are actually guys I've already predicted in my previous silver prediction video. If you're not seeing it, go click that information tag up in this corner. It will take you through to that video. I'm going to run through these guys quickly. We've got Twan Zabi, out and out, going to be the best silver centre back this year, 100%. We've got big Nuno Tavares, the Arsenal bias, that strong link to potential Sambi Laconga. Those two are silver cards. It's going to be great. They could both have golds, but here's the hope and we get some insane silver cards this year. And last but not least, we have got Harvey Elliott. As I said in the previous prediction video, potentially not a right winger maybe a right midfielder or more a central midfielder player but definitely another insane premier league english link option anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this as always if you do want to see more videos like this before the start of fifa 22 before we get the actual database and the actual player ratings do let me know down below i would definitely look to do more anyway i've been more i hope you enjoyed and enjoy the rest of your weekend guys take it easy